Hello and welcome to another lesson. This time I'm going to introduce you briefly to Auto Breaks, which can be found in the Layout tab. This is a neat little tool which can be used to format and clean up your scores. So what Auto Breaks allows us to do is to systematize when our score should create a system break or a page break. For example, if I check Use Auto System Breaks, I can set my systems to break at regular intervals. So if I set it to, for example, six bars, Back in the score, you'll see that every system now contains six bars of material. But I can also force a system break at things like, for example, rehearsal marks, tempo text, double bar lines, key changes, or multi-rests of as many bars as I want. So what this pretty much means is that if any of these elements here are checked, as soon as the program comes across any of these things, it's going to make a system break for me. On the right hand side of the window, I can set when my score should make a page break by selecting use auto page breaks. For example, at a final bar line, if there's a final bar line somewhere in the middle of the piece, which of course is good if the score contains different movements. And I can also force a page break at bar rests and can even set how long the bar rests should be. Now for normal scores, this isn't that useful, but of course for instrumental parts, this can come in handy because it's preferable that the instrumentalist has a break from playing when making a page turn. In fact, one main difference that I see between amateur and professional engravers is that professionals always take page turns into consideration for the instrumental parts and they often rework the layout of the parts so that the instrumentalist has as few page turns as possible and only has page turns during bar rests. In fact, you can even see that down the bottom here we can add warnings for difficult page turns by letting the program draw spectacles or glasses. And this of course pretty much just means watch out! Or if we go back by writing VS, which stands for Volti Subito, which in Italian means turn suddenly. Also worth noting is that down the bottom of this window are a couple of options for working with multi-rests. For example, you can automatically split your multi-rests after a given number of bars. Now, one thing that's worth noting is that even if you have auto breaks turned on, the chances are very high that you might still want to occasionally format the layout yourself. For example, if the content doesn't fit on the staff and is way too crowded. And thankfully, even with auto layout turned on, we can still override the auto format with the make into system or make into page functions that we learned about in course one. So just as a reminder, the hotkeys for these are shift alt M, to make into a system and shift alt control m to make into a page so that's it for auto breaks and i'll see you in the next lesson